Good morning. This is uh, Buckeye Gordon. And I want to talk about a time uh, in my life. I was about 35 years old. I was married. Uh, had one daughter. She was uh, one or two. But I worked for a floor care company. It was a job that I really loved. Probably one of my better jobs. Um, made good money. I was a service tech slash retail sales. We had a store where in the back uh, we would do all the repairs and then we had retail out front. But anyhow, I was um, helping the church we were going to clean uh, school buses after the school year was done. And um, I got a phone call uh, from my boss. And I thought it was kind of weird because it was the day that I was off. And he says, I need to talk to you. I said, what about? And he says, well, when you get home, just give me a call. So automatically, I'm thinking, you know, I'm in trouble. I said, am I in trouble? He says, no. So we got down for that day, and I got home, and I called him. and He said, uh, there is a store opening up in Knoxville, Tennessee, and the company wants to offer me the job. So he says, uh, tomorrow call, uh, call this number. It was his boss, actually. And he'll fill you in. I said, okay. So I got to work the next day. I called him. And, and he says, you know, Gordon, uh, we like your work. We want to offer you a promotion in Knoxville, Tennessee. Of course, that means I obviously I would have to move from Ohio. I said, well, let me think about it. He says, well, i got to know in two or three days. I said, okay, I'll let you know tomorrow. So I got home. I told my wife, and we thought about it. We thought about it. We talked about it. And uh, the next morning, we decided to go ahead and do it. So I got to work. I called him back. I said, yeah, I'll take the job. Originally, the plan was for me to go down and get a place for us to live. So I drove down to Knoxville, Tennessee, and uh, looked around, looked around, and I went to where the shop is, and I didn't go in. There was already somebody there, but that person was leaving. He didn't like the job, apparently. But anyhow, uh, I'm thinking, you know, I need, I need my wife's decision where to live. I don't want to just pick something. So her and I went up. And we met this really nice realtor woman who offered to take us around to some apartment complexes. So we went around a few of them. We, we, got, we went in and, and we decided on one. So the what we were going to do the next day was, you know, fill out all the paperwork and everything. And that way we'll have a place uh, to live when we move down there. So we're back at the uh, motel room. And uh, I'm watching TV. I look over at her and she's crying. I said, what's wrong? She goes, um, I don't want to move. I said, you don't want to move here? She said, yeah, I want to go back to Ohio. Now she's never been away from her parents. They were elderly people, uh, very nice, very wonderful people. So, I called my boss's boss. I said, uh, my wife don't want to move. 
And there was a long pause. He says, how do you feel? I said, well, I, I want the job, but I got to think of my wife. He says, okay, I'll call you back. An hour later, calls me back. He says, okay, Gordon, you can, uh, you can come back. Your job is waiting for you. I said, okay, thank you. So we drive back to Ohio. Everybody's overjoyed except one person, me, because I really wanted that job. But I knew I had to uh, make sure my wife was happy. After a period of time, we thought about it, we thought about it, and we kind of regret our decision, but it was done. About a month later, I get a call from somebody really high in the company. Uh, he said, Gordon, this is Mr. So-and-so. The opportunity in Knoxville has presented itself again, and we would really like to put you in there. I've heard a lot of good things about you. So I said, let me call, he, he, before I said anything, he says, now, I know what happened the last time. He says, now, if you decide to take it and you change your mind, you have no job back here, back in Columbus. I said, okay. So I called my wife and I you know, explained the situation to her. I said, now, what they told me if I say, yeah, and then we don't, I don't have a job to go back to here. She goes, well, you know, we kind of regret not staying there, so let's go ahead and do it. I said, are you absolutely sure? She said, yeah. So I called him back up. I said, uh, yes, sir, we'll take the, I'll take the job. He says, okay, you got about a week. Because uh, the guy that is there is leaving. He didn't like the job. I said, okay. So, long story short, we we packed everything up. We had we had already gotten a, a, a an apartment to live in prior to this. Uh, we packed everything up and we moved to Knoxville, Tennessee. My daughter was kind of a couple of years old, I guess. But probably one of the best uh, uh, decisions I've ever made. Uh, Knoxville was beautiful, very good to Southern people. It was to me, uh, we had a, a, a little boy too. By this time though, we, we had bought a house and we had a little boy and a little girl, and we were very involved in our church. And it was like heaven on earth. I really couldn't ask for a better life than what I had in Knoxville. And I think about it a lot, how I wish I could go back to those days. You know, but Unfortunately, we can't uh, we can't go back. I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to listen to me. I have 412 subscribers, and I want to get to 500 fairly soon. So, if you like this story uh, and you don't want to miss no more, uh, like and subscribe. When you like this video, YouTube will push it out to more people. And who knows, we might find some people that would like this or really can identify with it. Let me know in the comments if you had a similar situation like I did. Let me know what happened. I would really love to hear from you. Again, like and subscribe, and we shall see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day.